uh, I'm going to try to take and videotape this so that way uh, we get the content that you guys need to pay attention to for uh, adjusting your level loop. I suppose I should bring it up on the screens. It's always a good thing. All right, so uh, today we're going to talk about adjusting our level loop, and we're also going to talk about the allowable disclosure calculation. Okay, so I have a fancy little activity here. I went out and collected data, I did my own level loop, and now we're going to go through and adjust this level loop real quick to make sure that. We're all good to go, okay, for our adjustment. So the very first thing you should do, and it's a real quick check, is uh, in, like I, I've had, I had you guys go out, and when you were collecting your data, you were figuring out your elevations as you went, okay, your unadjusted elevation, this elevation. That's what you guys were figuring out as you went. But the real, a lot of times in industry, you'll go through and you're going to do all the all of this, and you'll do the math back in the office. Okay, so you get your measurements out in the field, back in the office, do your math. So when you're in the field and you finish out, one of the quick quickest ways to really check to know if you uh, closed out or not, or how bad you did from starting out at your first benchmark and ending at it, um, is to really sum up the back sites and sum up the foresight. So can someone go through and sum up these back sites for me and tell me what that number is? Okay, so then sum up the four sites and tell me what that is. Okay, so it's 34.5. Okay. Alright, so when I look at this then, the change in my back sites and four sites is basically one minus the other. So 0.20. Okay, so I just took this one minus this one. So I took my back sites minus my, actually plus my four sites, but my four sites are minus sites. So they're going to give me, uh, in this particular case, a negative answer, or a positive answer, because my back sites are larger. So 34.70 minus 34.50 plus a negative, I should say. And that gives me that 0 0.20. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do here is go through and do the actual math to figure out my elevations over here across from my points. Okay. So let's figure out. Um, I'll have someone with a calculator give her the business, and I'm going to just ask for numbers to fill in these columns. So the first thing I need to do. So I take my benchmark elevation, which is known, it's 100, and I'm going to add the 3.25. Okay, so that will give me 103.25. So I took this plus that, equal that. Now this minus this is going to give me that. 96. 96 even? Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to take this 
and add this to give me 97.43. 97.43. Subtract this. 91.19. Yep. Okay. Want the next HI? 96.83. The next elevation for benchmark 2? 94.53. Okay. 97.08. 95.15. Okay. 98.37. 98 97.35 97.35 99.9 99.90 98.52 98.52 105.06 105.06 102.87 106.55 Okay. So we went through and we did all those calculations. We went through in the order that we want to go through. Pay attention now that, and I noticed this when you guys were taking notes, you did not put that zero in there. If it came to this, you put 99.9. .9. I will take points away for not showing those significant digits, okay? We need to have that zero there because that tells whoever's looking at your field book that you carried to the right amount, okay? and also that you didn't forget to put a number there. So if I'm putting to the hundredth everywhere else and I come to this and you just were lazy and you put in 99.9, .9, it makes me think, all right, was there a number there that they screwed up on that they didn't put down or are they just being lazy? The reason that's important is if these notes had to stand in court, the judge is gonna throw your notes out as available evidence as soon as he sees that because they're incomplete, all right? So, what do we notice here? Our starting elevation was 100. Ending elevation, 100.2. Look at what our misclosure was, okay? So that, um, we would do here, we'll fill this out. So the change in the beginning elevation and the ending elevation. So that change is 100.00 minus 100.2. Zero, zero, or point two zero. Okay, so it's zero point two. I'm dropping the sign. There. Okay, so we know zero point two zero now. They check it means we did our math correctly through our notes. So that's one way to check. Uh, and then where we had our uh, summed up our back sites and summed up our four sites and showing the same thing. So that's our check to make sure that we did our math correctly. So if you went through when you go to do yours, if you sum up your back sites and four sites and you have say 0.2 but then if you take and subtract your beginning elevation on your benchmark from your uh, ending elevation on your benchmark and you get some different number it means that you did your math wrong somewhere so go back through and recheck your math okay that is that check okay so how many setups do i have here then because i want to fill in my number of setups so how many setups? How would I know what my setups are? No, so number of setups is the same as the number of HIs, okay? So I would count my HIs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten setups. Or the other thing I do when I keep notes, I always put a little instrument here because that's where I'm set up with my instrument. Just as a reminder, okay, of where I actually set up. Okay, so I should have 10 of those. So I have 10 setups.
All right, now that I know I have 10 setups, I probably should check my allowable misclosure, right? This guy right here. So our allowable misclosure is uh, equal to 0 0.02, which is a constant, times the square root of the number of setups. Okay, the number of setups. So if I do that here, my allowable misclosure is 0 0.02 times 10. It's the number of setups, okay? Times 10. So what is my allowable misclosure? Point zero six. Zero point zero six. So did my level loop pass then? Was it a good level loop or should I be going out to redo it? Was that? Good. Standard. <laughs> so this is what I should be below, the constant here. Zero point zero six is what I should be below. What did I come out to be? 0 0.20. It means I failed. I need to go out and redo it. Okay. Uh, for you guys, when you go to do your re uh, reduction of your notes, um, if you're above this, I want to note in your field book that you were above the, or you did not meet the uh, required misclosure. Okay. Uh, you exceeded it. But I still want you to go through and do the adjustments so you understand the math and everything behind it. All right. But I do want a note listed saying that you did not meet the avail or the actual uh, misclosure. If you're below this, you're good to go. You did a good job, right? It's not like you didn't do a, do a good job going to this, but you just made a misread a number or something like that, which you can't really figure out in here. It's too small of an error to really figure out. Okay. All right. So we figured that out. All right. So now we're going to talk about our adjustment per setup. So every single one of these is going to have to change. So which way, well, let's figure this out first. Okay, so adjustment per setup. So what I'm going to do is take my adjustment per setup is equal to my error over oh boy, this, this ran off here. my error divided by my number of setups. Okay, so it's equal to 0 0.20 divided by 10. What does that equal? equals 0 0.02 okay so my adjustment per setup is 0 0.02 feet all right so if I look at this again well, I just made this all wonky um, we're gonna take and figure out the adjustment per setup now this is important to pay attention to which way do I have to go to adjust my setup so that way when I adjust it I come out on benchmark one here and end up with a hundred. I'm going to be subtracting right because I became in high. So I'm going to be subtracting my error throughout my level loop. Okay, And this happens at the HI level, the height of instrument level. So I'm technically subtracting here, I'm subtracting 0 0.02 here, and it transfers through. That's the technical way to do it. Now that you can actually do it right at the uh, elevation here, okay? So my first one is gonna be 95.98, okay? And it's cumulative. So this next one then is, so I, I subtracted 0 0.02 here. This next one is gonna be 0 0.04. I'm subtracting 
0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.10, 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18, and 0 0.20, okay? So this next one here is going to be 91.15, 94 point uh, 47 95.07 97.25 98.40 102.73 correct 102.61, or 77, and then 100. Okay, so we did our adjustment correctly then by subtracting this. Now, the major thing to remember is that our error is accumulative. Or is cumulative. So as I go up, so I'm at my second setup here, I would times my amount of error by two. The third setup times three. Fourth setup by four. Fifth setup by five. Sixth setup by six. Seventh by seven. Eight by eight. Nine by nine. Ten by ten. Okay? So that gets us through our adjustment. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to show you something else. So in case you're confused, um, I did post here example notes with the calculations. Okay, I made a nice little graphic uh, showing how the process worked to get there. I didn't do the adjusted elevations. Uh, I didn't show the calculations for the adjusted elevations, but I have them listed here. Okay? Um, if you look... This is exactly what I'm showing you right now on the screen is exactly what we just did. Um, here, the numbers match. Okay, so this and this are identical. So if you want to check, uh, if you're watching the video to do your uh, adjustment and everything, you can check off of this particular thing here and see how we, we went about doing that here. Okay. So that is the adjustment. So now you guys are, you have to go and do that. And I would like you to finish that and get that turned in. Uh, so that way I can check your work over the weekend. Okay. Uh, because Monday is the test. All right. Let me stop this.